You know, I just decided I hate the alternate ending for The Abyss. If you haven't seen The Abyss, then the basic premise is that a bunch of aliens on the bottom of the ocean floor accidentally sink a U.S. nuclear sub. Whoops! Then an experimental oil rig on the seafloor and a bunch of aggro Navy SEALs get wrecked trying to recover nukes. Eventually, one asshole goes insane and tries to nuke the aliens, even though they seem friendly. The original end had main hero Ed Harris being saved by the Watery Boys. They then lift the whole oil rig up for a friendly meeting. How nice. Then there's the director's cut. It adds in the more explicit theme about 80s nuclear annihilation. Thanks, Reagan. Anyway, this culminates in US and Soviet forces ready to end the world in nuclear hellfire. The ending plays out mostly the same for Ed Harris, but now he gets a front row seat to a massive dick wagging from the Blue Manta Men. They threaten the whole world with massive tidal waves. They decide not to drown everyone because of love. In my opinion, this ruins something I love about this movie. Well, at least something I loved about the VHS tape I watched over and over as a kid. I always took it as the aliens were these innocent beings, untouched by violence or paranoia. That's why Michael Bean's Lieutenant Coffee is such an important element. The only threat is from a character that would be the hero in any other movie. You know, like he was the hero in James Cameron's previous movie, Aliens. By making the aliens capable of wiping out humanity, it robs the impact. It also removes the mystery about the aliens, which is always a good choice in a movie. And what's worse, this is all in favor of a pretty ham-fisted message. I don't know, you may like it, but I hate the alternate ending for The Abyss. The extended musical sequence is cool though. And if you give